on the track. He'll be one of many, many men's participants. Oh, look at this guy. There's going to be 17 total. The Big Nasty, obviously, is one of them. Tim Washington. Mo Sanders. We're going to start with four instead of the three the women started with. And the same thing, every 20 seconds, somebody else will be on that track. Who's the fourth? Rusty Montgomery of the Florida Sun Dogs. He'll have to, at least for now, uh, forget about what Kenneth Lowe taught him, which was to skate clean, because there's no rules in this thing. Well, he'll probably have to remember what Leonard Logue has taught him now that they've taken the gloves off of this new Sun Dog attitude of fight fire with fire. Couldn't have come at a better time for Rusty Montgomery as he goes into this winner-take-all demolition derby. I don't know how you can tell those two loads apart or why you'd even bother to try. Now, here we go. These four guys are going at it, and the last man standing wins, but there's going to be a lot more than just these two. In fact, Rusty Montgomery's already done. Oh, and they're trying to get rid of the big nasty. Oh, did he ever throw Gamble aside like he was nothing? Now you see down there in the corner of your screen, big Sean Davison. And the big nasty just saw him and said, come on, come on, oh, no, look no. out. Oh, what a collision. Rory, I hate to say it, but Sean Davison might have got the better of Big Nasty on that one. Big Nasty's hurting. No! That's Leonard Lowe! It sure is. Oh, no! In his safari outfit. Oh, he gets knocked off his feet by the slave. The love slave. Whoever the heck that is underneath there, Lowe's already out. Leonard Lowe. Are you sure it's not Mark D'Amato? I don't know who the heck it is. I don't think it's D'Amato. Doesn't matter now because he's done. Sean Davison took care of that. Here's another guy that has no chance. Scott Smith. See? What did I tell you? Davison and Washington are the two biggest guys in the league. They just collided with one another. It looks like they might be setting up to do it again. Meanwhile, all the guys. Oh! oh, 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 oh. The big nasty's a little bigger and a little nastier. Jason McDaniel's gonna take <laughs> off running. He stayed on. Oh my gosh! Washington is knocked out by the ACK attack. If you just found out Damala was your brother, that's what happens to you. Ooh. Oh god, they're not pulling any punches in this one, are they? McDaniel and Atkinson are out there, and they're going to collide again. They're on a collision course. Oh! oh. This is just never ending, Roy. How can Atkinson have any ribs left? Here comes Weber. Weber and McDaniel are going to help each other, at least for the moment, work on the act attack. How in the world is Sean staying on that track? Slopey just flew out of the clouds to knock Weber down. All four of them managed not to slide into the infield. Ooh, Atkinson just tripped him up. He's going to try and pull him off the track. Did he do it? Yes, he did. Weber's gone. And McDaniel just threw Slopey down the ramp. And here comes Kenneth Lowe. Get his little military helmet, Roy. What? business does he have out there? Oh! This just gets more bizarre with every passing moment, and it's not it isn't subsiding one bit. Kenneth Logue has never done anything against the rules in his life, but he better run for his life now because D'Amato's out there. Logue has an army helmet on, and D'Amato's just waiting. Logue threw his army helmet off. He's out of his mind. He's battling to stay on that track. Give him credit. He's fighting tomorrow. Here comes the Shaleen machine. Right now there are five left on the track. And D'Amato is just destroying Kenneth Logue, and he is out at the hands of Mark D'Amato is Kenneth Logue. Both Logue brothers are gone. Big Tim Washington's gone. 
the strength of the World Skating League is emerging is all that's left, Rory. Ray Robles going after Shaleen. And Captain America, he's the last one to enter, Rory. Bill Barker oh. is the last contestant, so one of these guys is going to win this thing. Shaleen and Weber go at each other against the rail. Both oh, yeah. managed to stay on. D'Amato just dropped Barker. Atkinson's still there. He picks Barker up. Oh, man. Captain America's gone. The back attack took care of him. Robles and Weber collide. Robles goes down. He's still on the track. He's going to get pushed off. That leaves Posse, Shaleen, Mark Weber, Sean Atkinson, and his half-brother, Mark D'Amato. Sean better be careful with a breakout roll. I don't know if Atkinson cares, though. He doesn't. That's where his mama's honor. Now on the other end, who's going to stay on the track? Posse, Shaleen, can he do it? So far, yes. These are the last two. Who's going to make it? I'm going to bet on Posse Shaleen. That guy is tough. He's strong. I don't know, Rory. I might have to go with Weber because Shaleen is going to start to pose for the crowd. He doesn't have his mind into it, but Weber starts to take his clothes off. This is going to be a gargantuan collision. Oh, Posse Shaleen wins. You were right. I lose. He did it. Posse, the Shaleen machine. There's how it ended. Up, over, and out. See